Welcome everybody on YouTube. If you're watching this there, this is a recording of what was a live stream on Ustream.tv. So if you'd like to join in the chat uh, with the ladies and gentlemen that join live, go to Ustream.tv, search for Inky Obsessions, click follow, and you should be notified whenever I schedule a future event or whenever I go live. So um, this is not going to be rocket science tonight. I'm just I was going to come down and play with this a little bit, so I thought I would um, turn the camera on. I'm just going to make a swatch uh, insert for in here for these creamer. Creamer, I understand it's creamer. Watercolors that I recently got. And I need to find my ruler. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to go a little bit shy so it's easy in and out. So let's call that eight and a half. And let's call that two and a half and a smidge. You like how exact my measurements are? Oh, I didn't see Paula. Hey, Paula. And of course, how many seconds has passed and I forgot the measurement. <laughs> Come on, get out of there. Move my barefoot palette. Suckers, I like this a lot, but it's, it's heavier than it looks. <laughs> Kramer should be giving you a commission, you think? Hey, Cindy Lou. That would be nice. I'll take it all out in pigment. Thank you. i just trying to share the wealth of what I know. Can't keep this one to myself. <laughs> all right, let's see. What did I say this was? Hey, May. That's a new name, May Brocks. Welcome, my dear. One notch over two and a half. Two and a half. And a skosh. I don't like that and it's got the rubber little bit on it. Two and a half and a skosh. Hey, Jesse. Jess our cat. Patty, I'm going to go to the creamer store. Oh, Sandra. Woohoo. Well, it's probably wise I don't go. But if I get to New York, you can believe my big arch is going to be in there. I'm telling you that for sure. Now, I like to round my corners since the tin is rounded. Excellent salesperson. I should get a commission. <laughs> Oh, let's see who's here. Zandra. I don't know who else is here from Maryland, but um, I contacted uh, Cheap Joe's to see if they would give me some uh, donations for giveaways for everybody. And they called me back today and they're going to send me some goodies. So I thought that was awesome. So in turn, I told them that I would be sure to promote their channel. And she was very appreciative of that. So, we need to write your list for Zonder to pick up. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'd be, I, I would think that the watercolors are the same price in the store. I don't know. Um, but, uh, look at you, perfect fit. You know what I thought was funny? Um, Not ha ha funny, odd funny. Um, the creamer site is hard. Creamer is, I think it's difficult to navigate. They've got a lot of stuff there that are not watercolors like this. But on the side menu on the website, you go down and down and down, and there's a heading. It's called something like ready made watercolors or something like that. And, um, Oh, hang on. Is Joan on here? I probably should ping Joan. 
Oh crap, hang on. Yeah, free shipping to me tags. <laughs> hang on, I'm going to, um, you know how I get in trouble in here when I search. <laughs> uh, but too bad. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Somebody poo pooed me the other day for doing a search while I was supposed to be streaming and it interfered with their art objectives. <laughs> oh my God. Are you, for those that are friends with me on Facebook, a week or so ago, I posted a picture of a letter that my mom got in the mail saying that she was the big winner right for um I put that back and I need it she was the big winner uh I forget how many millions of dollars she won uh she would just have to um get in touch with them and then travel to Madrid Spain to pick up her winnings and um I get over there she she is not one old lady that's gullible let me tell you she said look at this bullshit but I got so I'm looking at it, and that was so funny. And part of it said, and you can read this on my post. It said, um, please keep this private. Don't share this publicly. And all this kind of stuff. So, of course, I immediately put it on uh, Facebook. And don't you know, today, a week and a half or whatever later, I had somebody post oh, on there that says, and I said something real snarky, like, we're rich. My mom won whatever, how many millions it was, or something like that. And I'm putting her on a plane to Madrid to collect the winnings. We'll share with all of our friends, so stay tuned. Somebody posted, hey CB, somebody posted today and said, I hate to be an old wrench, but maybe you should look into this before you send your mother off to parts unknown to do your business. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me for Christ's sake? Ah! Oh, mercy. What is wrong with these people? I don't, I don't get it. I swear to God, I don't get it. But I guess I don't need to get it, right? What the hell do I know? So one of these is just a scotch bigger than an inch. Right, and there's seven. I'm not going to give this too much thought. I'm going to just try to find a middle middle ground and wing it from there. It's ridiculous. I can't believe it. I was like, "Are you kidding me, lady?" So I replied and I said, "Oh my God, this was a joke and sarcasm. I am not one to fall for scams, nor would I send my 89-year-old mother to Madrid to do the business." <laughs> Oh my God. Ooh. Bless her heart. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at you. Now you're a little cock eyed there, but let's see if we can't straighten you out a little bit. So let's come down there. One. And let's go over here and then try to make a meet in the middle. Probably not a good idea. I don't know what the hell. I never have very good ideas. So we're not going to cry about that, are we? It's not rocket science. It's just a little cheat sheet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this one's got to go into threes. Oh, that might be a little tight. That's not too bad. So, but what I want to do is I'm going to go one extra little step. Buy her a ticket to go with her. Sweet Lord. Um, I'm going to put a black streak down the center so that it swatches on black and white. 
clever, I know. Um, but what do I want to make that black with? Black gesso, black paint, a black marker. Joan! Hello! Did you get my message? <laughs> I realized I forgot to ping you. I had quite a, um, quite a cluster getting started here. As soon as I put the question out on Twitter about who wanted to watch me make a swatch card, I got um, somebody knocked on the door, came in to give us an estimate. Babe was going off. The phone was ringing. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Uh, so, you know, that's about par for the course around here, though. That's about how it rolls. So, I think I'm going to use black gesso. I don't know if that's what I should use or not. Now I have to do this. Find it. Where are you? Black Justin. Oh, there it is. Right in front of my little face. Watch your toes, my girl. Why can't mommy don't run over top of you? Yikes. Okay. Alrighty, little cheapy cheapy brush. Ugh. Now I didn't really think this through. I know that's a shock to most of you. Should I do a line of black here and a line of black down here? Or just one in the middle? I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Here we go. Decision made. Man, I can't paint a straight line to save me. Did I hear somebody? Hey, Kimmy Poo. I have people joining every time I look up. Did somebody say Paula was here? I didn't see her yet. Kathy. All right. Well, that might not be wide enough if I'm going to go on both sides, though, right? If only half of that goes to this color. Let me make it a little wider. All right, this is going to be the maximum width. I'm not going to go any wider than that. Across the top here. <laughs> I'm watching what I'm doing right this minute, so I'm not watching the chat. Hopefully that doesn't hurt anybody's feelings. I know how sensitive you all are. <laughs> that again was sarcasm. All right. Throw that in a jar of water. Yeah, I was going to make one for this, um, my individual pans that I bought from um, Creamer, I'm told it's called. Um, this one that I bought as a palette actually comes with one that they send, but they didn't send mine and I emailed them. And uh, they are sending me one. So that was pretty cool.
And when I've ordered from them, I get my stuff in like two days, maybe. You're crying, not paying attention to us. Did I hurt your feelings, CB? I know you're one of the delicate ones. <laughs> Terry, internet's not... Ah, that's too bad, Terry. A lot of that's been going around, it seems like, with you, Stream. Okay, now these colors... Should we send our friendship bracelets back to Patty? <laughs> Very insecure. Well, you know... I kind of knew that about you. Bless your heart. Now, let me see. Somewhere in my pile of swatches. This is this one. This is this one. That's not that's back to that one. This is this one. Still not the one I want. I want I have down here hidden somewhere. That's my gin chain. Oh, there it is. This. This is what I want. So now, I should probably write on this before I start slinging paint, right? So, I need a little teeny weeny fine tip. These are nice little pens. These little Muji pens. Somebody was talking about those, and I got some on uh, Amazon.com. They came in a 10-pack, and they were pretty cheap. they just real plain. Um, but they're, they're good, and they're waterproof, and they write a real fine, smooth line. So I need to find Pearl Monster Calibri Bronze, Calibri Bronze, Glitter Bronze. Okay, those were those two. <laughs> Turquoise Blue, that's up there now. Glitter bronze, that's down here. Regular bronze, that's that one. Royal gold. Oh hell, which one's that? Seven and one set. That's this one. It's royal. I meant royal satin. Yeah, that's royal satin. Some of these have very confusing names. Um, gold star, eleven oh eight. That's this one. Pale gold. That's the third one. Polar silver. That's the first one. Royal gold, 798. That goes down here in the bottom. I already did that one. Calibri gold, 1008. That's pale gold. Star. This is going to be confusing. Graphite gray. That's this one. That was a waste. I'm not all about that one. But I sounded it sounded like it was um, uh, metallic, so I had to try it. And it, it does has a little bit. It does, and it really granulates if, if you like gr granulation. Five oh oh eight. That's that one there. And this little beauty. 51008. That's the second one in this row. Lordy. Okay. Seven. Okay. Let me make sure I'm right again. Oh, oh, silver. Okay. So this is uh, polar silver. <laughs> Those are pens you need. Well, they are. They're, they're nice little pens. Polar silver. Where the hell is it? Oh, satin silver. Wait. Oh, no, it's this one. Sweet mama. Let me bring in a little bit. Not that you can really see what these labels say, but polar silver. And I was going to try to squeeze it all in one row, but that's not going to work. 
So let's go 500408, right? 08. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> I wrote the number down wrong on here. I wrote an 8 instead of a 5. Oh, great cheat sheet. The first digit I wrote on the whole piece of paper is wrong. This is going to go well. Okay, so there's that one. Let's put that one on there. This one is satin silver, right? Satin. One of these looks more like silver, and one of them looks more like a white pearl to me. In case you're interested in which one to buy. How many digits is that? Three. Sweet Lord, it must be six. So, one, two, three, four, eight. That's that one. Hey, Joe. <laughs> confusing you? Trust me. Oh, I live with it. I live with this level of confusion. Calibri Pale Gold. Most of the golds are called Calibri something. C-O-L-I-B-R-I. -I. I don't know what that means. Unless it's Italian for yummy or German for yummy. 502008 is that one. And then 001 Gold Deep. Right, and then that's Gold Star. Okay. So this is Colibri. Gold. It doesn't say deep. Where the hell did I get deep from? Oh, it says Calibri Gold. Keep out of reach of children. <laughs> oh, sweet love and goodness. Yeah, this is going to go good. I can, I can feel it. So this one is Gold Star. This one right there. And they are different. You might not think they're different, but they, they really are. Star. Gold. And this is 501108. Then the graphite powder silver is what it was called. That's what got me in it when it said silver. Graphite. Powder silver. And that's 477008. And then I had to get one that was called uh, Cobalt Blue Turquoise Light. Because why not? But this one is not um, metallic at all. And this one is four five seven five oh eight. All right, that goes up there, and then down here five oh one seven nine eight. I'm going to put this on the bottom. Five oh one seven nine eight. This one is Calibri Satin Royal Gold. Lordy. That's that one. And this 501808. Hey, Gala. 501808. And this one is called Calibri Royal Gold. Where this one is Calibri Satin Royal Gold, this is Calibri Royal Gold. So the chance of me learning these colors and getting them straight is uh, without a cheat sheet. There's a snowball chance of hell of that. So this one is five. I really like this one though. Five o three o o eight. Oh, you know, yesterday I was trying to figure out. Hey, Magna, that's a new name. Welcome. Remember, I was trying to come up with a rose gold, and I can't remember who it was, but somebody said yesterday. Um, 
that rose gold is a mixture of yellow gold and copper, which makes sense. But I couldn't get it just right. But then I remembered um, back when uh, I, a couple stencil releases ago, I did um, one day where I just did all metallic prints. And I was using the golden fluid acrylics in silver and copper. And where they blended in my gradient, it had a little teeny weeny bit of a rose hue to it. So I was playing with that yesterday. I'll show you that when I get going here. This one is called Calibri Bronze. It's that one. And then this one is, this is really, uh, 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 506518. And this little gem is called Magic Indian Summer. No, yeah, Magic Indian Summer. It's kind of hard to fit that all in this little teeny tiny little box. That's that one. The last one. 503208 oh, oh, Calibri Glitter Bronze. Shush. Okay. That's done. Okie dokie. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Over here and over here. I just can't, I can't get over how pigmented these are for a little swatch. And this is just on black card stock, but mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. all right, I'm going to get a little smaller brush. Give these a little juice. Oh, I forgot this one. That's the one I made. What the hell is that called? That's my pigment that I mixed up myself. Five. Oh, six, five, nine. That's only five digits. And that's Pacific Lagoon. This is a uh, magical elixir. Patty, are you recording? Yeah, I did record. I did turn it on, Travis. It was, I was into it a few minutes, which I meant to do, but I, I am recording now. Yep, I am. Just check myself because I got to trust Travis's memory over mine. I got to tell you. <laughs> All right. So now I got to remember, I should probably draw a middle line in white down there. Does it matter? Will I find it? Will I do it? Will I screw up? Uh, hmm. Are the are the um, Uniball Signo whites are they waterproof? Do you want to know? Well, if it writes. I'm blowing it dry by blowing on it. Well, it's not even dry yet. Maybe I better not mess with that. I'm going to vote against that. I don't think so. Yeah, let's, yeah. Let's avoid that whole cluster, shall we? We shall. Okay. So now, let me pull you in a little bit closer for this. I think I can do it and stay in frame. All right, let me get this out of the way. And I better stay in line. If I turn it this way, who knows what's going to go where. Yeah, Gala, I would like to live in Polar Silver City. This one is Polar Silver. Can you guys, I don't know if you can see down there. These are... No wonder they call them creamer. They are creamy. 
So let's And then this one is satin silver, and this I think is the one to me that looks a little more silver than pearl, but that's just me. This pale gold, I've used a lot of this. These being pretty brand new. Is everybody like? enthralled are you like so glad you joined to watch me make a swatch card <laughs> oh bless you all this is just called colibri gold the gesso wants to resist How dare it! Which color set is this one? This one is not a color set, Joan. This one I bought individual pans. And I'll tell you what my logic was. Try and, try and stay with me. This might hurt some brains. <laughs> so I really wanted the metallic golds, right? I saw those and I thought, oh, they're so good. But I saw Anna Victoria Calderon. I'm going to have to make her the guilty party for talking me into this. She did not talk me into it. I saw it on Instagram, saw some of the art she used these colors in, and thought, oh my goodness. So I looked at this set, and they have another set. They have two set, two pan sets. I think they call them watercolor boxes, watercolor box sets. They have a landscape one, they have a fluorescent one, they have blah, blah, blah. This is the pearlescent, or the pearl set, pearl or pearlescent, I can't remember. And they have another one that's called a gold retouching set. So I looked at both of them. The gold retouching set had gold pans that kind of filled the bottom. But this top row was like different shades of reds and yellows and ochres and stuff like that. And it was called a retouching set. So I don't know if it was meant to give you skin tone options and those colors. And then, so it was limited to the number of metallics. So then I looked at this one, and this one was had a lot of metallics in it, but it also had these, um, like the interference kind of colors. And I'm not always wild about interference stuff, right? Pearl luster set, thanks, CB. I'm not always wild about the interference stuff. Like my acrylic paint, it's interference. I hardly ever use it. Now the, the, um, the PBO Dynacolors, where the paint is a color and the, the sparkle in it or the mica in it is, pardon me, an opposing color, those I use more. But the ones that are just like in a medium that has this interference in there. I, but anyway, so in my bright mind, I thought I'm going to pick out the metallics of here that are different and the ones that are in the gold retouching set and make my own custom set, which I did here. And once I saw these and um, it's, you know what? I think it might've been my brush, Virginia, because look now they're, they're on there just as good as they're on the white. I think it was my brush and how wet or how not wet it was. Um, so I put these all together and when I saw how yummy they were and went back and looked at more of Anna Victoria's stuff and I thought, 
Oh, man. Huh. So I do have some duplicates, and I'm okay with that because I will use these, and I'm not worried about that. Buying the set actually was cheaper, but there are some colors in here that I wouldn't have gotten with this. Like, I wouldn't have gotten the glitter bronze. No. Yeah, glitter bronze, the pale gold, and a couple of these, maybe three of the other golds didn't come with this one. So, I'm good with what I did. I know I duplicated a little bit. I'm always, I'm a more is more kind of girl anyway, right? Well, maybe you should find a new home for those interference colors you don't like. <laughs> well, actually, after, oh, uh, hello, where are you? After playing with them on those tags and mixing them with the black and doing this, mama like. <laughs> so they will, they will be staying with me a little while longer. So the fifth one is this one. This is star gold. Yeah, it's just going over the roughness of the paper. And you know how sometimes it hits the high bumps and not the low bumps. That's what it was doing. I guess resist was the wrong word. I do that a lot. Oh, I had a stream the other day talking about wrong words. And this is the graphite powder silver. Eh. I guess it has its place somewhere, but it's not what I was expecting it to be. I get a picture in my head about stuff. And then there it is. It's a picture. We'll see how that granulates on here. It was granulating on the tag. Um, but that's a completely that's manila paper, right? That's not watercolor paper. So, Joan, should I be expecting your shipment from the Creamer site? That's pretty opaque, I think. But most of these turquoise, cobalt, teal kind of colors usually are. All right, so there's the first little run. Let's see, that first one looks more pearl than silver to me. Well, we'll let them dry. They are three different golds for sure. I promise. This one, oh lord. Oh, babe's charging out, almost drugged me with her. <laughs> she charged out from under my desk. I guess that means Dave's home from golf. He played, they got out a little bit early from work today. I actually had off today. And um, they um, let him out early today. So he and some of his buddies went and had a little round of golf. And. He said he thought he'd be home around 7.30-ish, so I'm guessing that's the 7.30 bark. That or they're a little early for their, I can't even say it, uh, the hour that's coming up in, what is it, 38 minutes? You know what time that is? If I say that time out loud, we will have quite the ruckus because they know they get a T-R-E-A-T. -E oh, no, it's Dave. He can give them their 8 o'clock. Now I can say it, actually, 8 o'clock. That's my husband. Hey, babe. Hey, what's up? Just streaming a little bit. You stopped? I did. You giving their message? No, it wasn't time yet. Um, I totally forgot about um, Fidel coming over. Who? Fidel. To paint. Oh, did he come over? Yeah. He was knocking on the door. I looked out there. I thought, that oh, crap. Who's trying to sell me something now? And I thought, oh, wait a minute. He's supposed to be here. You're streaming now, right? Yeah, I am. Oh, I 
Okay. How'd you play? What is it? Oh, that goes with this feather to hang that feather on a window. I wondered where that went. Thank you. Um, I had a tomato sandwich and did you eat? Yeah. I made some potato salad from a recipe I found online. Okay. And sorry, ladies, I'm talking to my husband. Where did you get potatoes from? I, when I stopped at the store today, uh, oh, okay. it hit me and I thought, well, coming back for mom's. I thought I'm going to look up a recipe and see if I can whip some up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I won't be real long. But Oh, you did? Oh. This one is the bronze. This is one of my favorites. It kind of looks coppery. and almost has that rosy hue to it because copper is kind of red, right? And remind me, Travis, I'm putting this on you again, honey. Um, remind me to do that rose gold thing at the end. <laughs> He's already upstairs, Joan, by the time your message popped in. But I'll tell him you said, hey. This is the Indian summer. Mm, mama. This is awesome stuff right here. Joan, if you go on the creamer, the creamer site, I can't, no, I'll never say it right, um, and go under the, I think they're called ready-made colors, that's where all your, you'll find the watercolor box sets and the pans, um, and as you go through the colors, you'll see that they're mostly regular watercolor as they go down. Um, they, um, the metallics are kind of all grouped together towards the end of that list. And if you need me to send you the color numbers, let me know. I'll be happy to hook you up for my dad. I think he used to have yappy hour with the dogs. You got a, you got a drink and the dog's got a treat. Oh. And this is the glitter bronze. This has a little bit heavier mica pigment in it. Oh, you're welcome. I'm happy to spend your money. I fight it a little bit more when it's mine. <laughs> now, this one's not quite as creamy as the others. This is the one that I made. And I didn't use their medium, their watercolor medium, which after I looked at it, actually theirs has honey and glycerin in it. And they give you a little recipe on if you're going to take their pigments and mix it with the medium how to mix that um, with a little bit of honey and a splash of ox gall and I forget I don't remember what the recipe was but it was I saw it out there at some point you can really see the difference of this on the white and the and on the black so I got room for one more pan in there. What shall I put in there? But see this on the white, you like almost can't see it. Now when it dries and I turn this at the right angle, you will. And I'll go into that pen a little bit so you can see it on there with the, on the letters. All right. Hey, King. Oh, it's King Karen. Yeah, I'll set this and let it dry. Um, but you can see that's the one that changes colors. That one on the end I just did with that bright turquoise. 
Right now, looking at it for me, looking at this angle, it's purple. Oh, that drives me crazy. Um, I'm going to set this aside, let that dry. That worked out pretty good with the black in there. Right? So, rose gold, look at me remembering, Travis. Quite the whiz, aren't I? <laughs> Here's where I was experimenting before. Let's get rid of these two so I don't confuse. I'm not sure about the honey gala. Um, Jean could probably tell you if she was here because I think she bought the M. Graham watercolors when she got the professional set and she wanted it. Um, well, there you go from Liz. It keeps it from becoming hard. I know it has something to do with, pardon me, the consistency. But I think they're a little more prone to um, uh, mold, I think. So, let's see. Get me my bare foot back here. Is that what this is called? I was calling it a bear claw. And I had people emailing me because they were going to Amazon looking for a bear claw palette and they couldn't find it. I'm using the wrong daggone word. Oh, yeah, boob. Okay. Like, oh, sorry. Here's my experiments from last night that I sent to CC. We're on a quest for the perfect rose gold. I don't know if it's got anything to do with the antibiotic properties or if it's strictly just because of consistency. not know. It may be interesting to find out though. Okay. So what what they were saying was take a gold. No, let me look at these. I'm going to take this kind of mid-range gold here. This one is the Calibri gold. Right? And I'm going to put some out here in the palette. This one. Oh, crap, I'm in the wrong one. Did you see that? See what it did? Hey, Lynn. Uh, stay with the program, Patty. Pick up this gold. And then she said to pick up the one that's kind of coppery, even though it's not copper. is this one here. This is the, called Calibri Bronze. This is also yummy and getting low because I use that quite a bit from the little bit that I've used it. All right, now I'm going to just start to mingle these a little bit. And although that is gorgeois, um, I'm not sure that's the right shade for rose gold. It almost looks coppery. However, some rose golds are pinkier. Pinkier. I don't think pinkier is the word. <laughs> Do you hear me? I just made it up. Just like that. So let's put this on black. Right. And I'm going to want that to dry. So in this other corner, I'm going to put in, what did I say? The, the bronze, right? And the silver. So let me find a little down here to put this. I hate so much to stick that in water and lose that. It's so yummy. I don't even want to lose a molecule of it. Try to squeeze it all out of there. 
Ah, the pain, the agony. And now I use the silver. Right? All right, let's see what happens here. See, that to me is more rose gold. That's what I think. So, hang on, let me do this. Oh, yeah. That's the one right there. In my opinion, it doesn't... Uh, somehow, like, the silver seems to come through a little stronger in this when I put it on black. And I'm going to let that, but you can even see on the palette, right, these two colors, how this is more orangey. And that's more pinky, the little bit that's left there. Um, and there they are on the white watercolor paper and on the black hmm. hey gun what about the first color you used plus silver that was the one just called gold this one right here in the middle it's 501008 it's called Calibri Gold Oh, use that plus silver? Oh, use that plus silver instead of using the cop, the bronze one. I gotcha. I think we won't get that rosy pigment in there, but I will give it a try just because it's you, Travis. Um, so that's this one. I think this will probably just give us more like a champagne kind of color, which I think is also lovely. Lovely. I was, um, you heard me tell Dave I made some potato salad. That is, if you can believe it or not, that's the first time in my life that I've ever made potato salad. It's just, I love it, but it's never one of the things that I've made. Um, okay, Travis, here we go. Um, That's beautiful, but it's more, I think I would call it like a champagne. I'll show you next to this. Um, so I was over at my mom's a couple weeks ago, and she made the best, not last week, but in her lifetime. And maybe it's because that's what I was raised on, but I always thought her potato salad and macaroni salad and coleslaw was better than anyone that I ever had. So when I was over a couple weeks ago, she said, you know what, I was sitting here today and I thought, I was trying to remember how I made my, how I made my uh, potato salad and I can't remember how I used to make it. And I thought, holy crap, that's not good. <laughs> and she never measured anything, right? So she said, "I, you know, I have potatoes, yeah. A little bit of onion, some mayonnaise, salt and pepper. And I said, well, I think you put celery seed in it, Mom. No, hell no. I didn't put any celery seed in it. I said, how about egg? Nope, no egg. I said, well, it had kind of a yellow tinge to it. Was that either from the egg yolk or from mustard? No mustard, just mayonnaise. So I started quizzing her. I said, well, you know, I remember when you first saw Dijonese when it first came out, a mixture of mayonnaise and mustard. They... I guess they still have it. I don't know. I don't use it. Um, <laughs> and she said, oh, yeah, that rings a bell. Maybe I did put mustard in it. So she she was just confused about it and couldn't remember what she used. There's your champagne, Travis. So my money's going on that middle one. This one looks really close to a really stunning rose gold right there. Mama-like. And... Um, so I thought, hmm, 
Yeah, if anybody hears they have a 20% off, let me know. I got a couple little things in my cart that I'm going to try. Uh, so she, um, yeah, she couldn't remember. So I thought, I need to try to learn how to make potato salad. And it really tastes similar to hers. And I, I just took a recipe I found online. I, I googled uh, best potato salad recipe, looked at a couple that came back, and... Um, I made a batch of it today. It's pretty yummy, I gotta tell you. Use celery flakes instead of flakes and seed instead of celery. Celery flakes. What the hell are celery flakes? Oh, okay, Virginia, I'll make sure I, I think I did actually follow their Facebook page. Um, I put real celery in it. I chopped, diced up some celery real fine and some onion and some hard-boiled eggs. And I used the red skin potatoes. Dried pieces. I've never even seen those. Do they then get moist or do they stay crunchy? They probably get moist, right? In the sauce, whatever. So, Liz, is there another option of where to buy them from that you don't think is as expensive? A half pan, here's one thing I'll caution you to look for. If you're looking at these in a half pan, the half pan is $9 for almost all the colors. The full pan is $10 in almost all the colors. So, for twice as much, it's a dollar more. Um, which I found kind of curious. And they have another pan, and I don't know how big it is physically, but I'm guessing it's a uh, oh, mamma jamma about this big because it was like $60 for a pan of that. And it was a multiplier up of how many full pans was in there. Um, I was thinking, from trying to remember in my head, I think it might have been like six of these or so, maybe more. Um, I'll have to look for those, CB. I never heard, never heard tell such a thing. But, um, yeah, they're not cheap, but these are so highly pigmented. Um, I'll pay for them again. Yes, I will. Yeah, Liz, um, I don't know how much a full pan of like Schmincke or Daniel Smith's are. I um, I usually I get all my half pan Daniel Smith's from um, Artistic Cat. And uh, a couple of you have asked me when my palette with her is going to be ready. And I did say yesterday on stream that she's moving. Hey, Larlu. Um. they're moving into a house so for a couple of weeks she's going to be really smashed with that and and behind on stuff but then once she gets that back she said if anybody's really anxious and wants them you can go just buy the separate pans of the separate color families when she gets back she's going to put a listing together for all my 12 selections which i'll show you what they are um little scraps from my canvas painting spree. <laughs> um, these are the ones that I picked. And you can just go like in the blues and greens and find the fallow blue, fallow turquoise and the cobalt teal and the cascade green and the ultramarine turquoise. And, you know, go in the orange and find the pyrrole yellow. Orange and yellows are a family together. Um, I think the Quinn's in there too and the Opera Pink are all in the one same family. She's got like reds and yellows, or no, is it orange and yellows and then reds, blues and greens, or is it blue and purples? I forget how they have them separated. But I think in, in the blue and purple section you can find almost all of these. Yeah, 
Maybe in the green it's these two in the green and the other one's in the orange yellow. Hell, I don't know, but they're out there. <laughs> if you don't want to wait, if you want to get them and you don't want to wait for um, her to have the set all at one place where you can just click it and buy all these 12 automatically, that's what you need to do. There you go. My link queen, Jen. Thank you. So, um, yeah, I was doing some tags. I don't know if you guys were all here with me yesterday. And I was just kind of slinging stuff around. There wasn't anything planned or fancy. I was just wanting to get some splashes of watercolor on a bunch of tags. And, um, I don't know what I drug across there, but I got lines carved out in there where I made a mark on them. Uh, this one had the, ch these had some of these interference colors on them. And these were these two interference green colors here with some black. I put down some black first and, um, oh, that's got a little purple in there too, doesn't it? I see it when I turn it on its side. I forget what the hell I put in there myself. But diff as it hits the light, it flashes really differently. Um, I'm not that wild about that one, although I like the colors. That one's not all that whoop de doo for me. It's too, too much, too yellow of a gold, I think, on there. That one's kind of interesting. And this is more of the black with the pink and purple interference, I think. But you can see that, see that down by my thumb, those flashes of that turquoise that hit in there, those little streaks. Why can't I make it hit the camera? That's this one that I made from the loose pigment. This one dried kind of light. It's interesting in its own way. Here's some of that pigment down there. See that blue? Of course, you can't see it when it flashes purple and all that. See that flash? Room right there. Boom! Hello, lover. I like this one. I like how that one came out. This is that cascade green. And a little tag show and tell. Now that I'm halfway through, I thought, oh, hell, I might as well keep going. This one's kind of cool. This is, I think, the magic. Indian summer and black. See where it turns like that bronzy gold color in there? And look at that. I think anything with the word magic in it does that because that's what this is. It's Magic Pacific Lagoon. And this is the one that changes. This one here. That's the one that changes from green, purple, and turquoise as you as you turn change the angle it's magic this one's kind of cool I didn't think I would like it but I do that's cascade green and I think I think this red right here but this watch what this red does see how that goes like a bronzy and sometimes it looks pink Sometimes it looks red. Sometimes it almost looks goldish bronze with an orangey flavor in there. Not one of my favorites. This one's kind of cool. Um, and that was just, I did a streak of black and then laid a streak of the, um, I don't know which one, one of these. I think this one. I'm not choosing one of those same colors. But I think it's so cool. Like, see, you get some orange coral kind of color there. And then you turn it back another way, and you get the pinky flamingo pink. That's for Eileen. 
And this one I just did um, black with one of the silvers. And um, these are just backgrounds for what I have in my little pea brain. So these are not something that's finished. That's cascade green and black with some gold thrown on there. And this was the interference, one of the greens and one of the blue and the blue with black. And it really, it's funny how little bit of black that I used on these, and they really still pop. Like, they're so transparent in the in the pans, and if you put them on white. But even having that little bit of pigment on there that caught up with that, I mean, look how that's flashing on there. And it doesn't, oh my gosh, let me show you what I mean. I'll show you. <laughs> Yeah, this has these two on it, right? And see on white how, I mean, they'll, you get a little color in there, but not that much. But just with that little streak of black and then adding them in there and it picking up some of that pigment underneath of it, it's a lot more shimmery. Patty Kremer site has full pan $16. Am I on the wrong site? No, you're not on the wrong site. It's some of the um, the different ones are priced differently, Gala. Um, probably most of these um, metallics or some of these metallics, I'm not, I can't remember. Might have been 16 for the full pan, but like these other ones and and all the other colors were more like nine and ten for half and full pans. Um. Some of the metallic ones may have been more, now that you say that. This one I bought as a set, so I didn't pay any attention to the price. These I paid, I don't remember, I have to go back and look. Maybe I did pay $16 a piece for them. I was in a frenzy, so it didn't really matter at that point. <laughs> um, here's another one of those with some red, but then let me see if I can. The way I'm looking at this now, it's gold and bronze. So let me see if I can make that happen for you people. get a little bit of it you know get that full effect but those coming to Maryland I'm gonna make you look at them I am I am this one is that graphite powder silver and you can see how that granulated see that all right That's got some of the Magic Lagoon in it. And that just has one of the golds in it. But even when it's a thin sheer layer, you can see how thin that is. Um, you can almost see through it. When it hits light right, it's like a solid mirror. Mama like that. Um, can you guys hear Dave? He talks so loud. He's upstairs around the corner with the door closed. I can hear him like he's sitting right here. Bless his heart. This is Cascade Green with, I think that was New Gamboge. And a little gold thrown in there. This one went a little crazy, but it's like all reflective. If you see everything, I used New Gamboge and Opera Pink. And then I threw in some of this. And I threw in some of this. And I splashed a couple golds on it. Um... And if it hits the light right, it's it just kind of lights up. But some angles, it just looks kind of like, eh. And you don't see that flash. This one's kind of cool. The way all that gold flared out in there. And this one I really like. But I didn't notice it uh, until later. But a little bit of green got on it up here. See that little green? Does that look like a penis? Is it me? Oh. Well, anyway... Um, there's a little splash of green up there, but the rest of it is the pink. Um, and let me see if I can get this. Like the whole thing flashes pink if you get it on the, not the whole thing, but all the pink flashes pink when it, when it hits the light right. But I think that one's really interesting. The frenzy comment. Hey, just spit your soda. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, if you've never had a watercolor frenzy before, 
my friend Jen and I that work together, we've been working together for almost 16 years. Back in the day, when we still had our vim and vigor and used to go on these shopping sprees, we would call them frenzies where we had different, different frenzies for different brands that we were like goo goo about at the time. Had a number of frenzies over the years. Now my frenzies go toward art supplies. It keeps me off the street. You know, what the hell? I don't do drugs. I don't really drink to speak of. I don't smoke anything ever. I didn't like this one, but now that it dried, I kind of like it. It's almost kind of crazy galaxy looking. Oh, and we're done. Okay. So, um, put these in a safe place. I'm not done with those yet. And, uh, let's see, what else? I think that's it. Eight o'clock. Am I going to wrap it up? Does anybody else want to know or see or ask anything else about any of these things that I've shoved down your throat? You'd think I was working on a commission, wouldn't you? I'm not, I promise you. Here's this one now that it dried. Let me see if I can make this one show you its beauty. Beauty Mist, this turquoise one on the bottom. It goes to purple about them, but you almost lose the angle. There you can see a little bit of the purple in there. Ish. There's some purple. You're just going to have to trust me. But they are yumalicious. They're very heavily pigmented and go on like butter. I'm just saying. So that's what I know. Hey, Gala, how much were um, the half pans for the ones that were marked 16 for the full? Do you remember? Night, Liz. I'd like to have a whole pan of that without having to mix it every time. Got to figure that one out. I guess I could buy the pigment and make it, but is it that important? Probably not. You should be paid commission and given shares in the company. <laughs> and you know what? I, I mean, yay if I make them money, but I mean, that's not my intention. I just want to show you something that I think is really cool. And I know there are other ones out there just as sick in the head as I am about this stuff. So... I'm just saying that they are yummy. I know one thing I wanted to do. I'm going to throw these some fine text down here. See, it's a dollar a dollar difference, isn't that? I find that crazy. Who would pay 15 for a half pan and pay a dollar more for a full pan? How many half pans can they stream? Stream. I saw Joan's comment about streaming. I mean, how many oh uh, Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I lost my train of thought. Yeah, double for a, for a dollar. I mean, how many half pans can they sell? It doesn't seem right. Say it isn't so. And these were my favorites before I got these, but let's see. And you know what? These are a lot cheaper. Um... If you're 
wanting to do it and save some moolah and get some metallics. These are certainly... Hey, Leslie. Oh, my goodness, Leslie. Two-year-old niece. Oh, my gosh. Bless her heart. What's her first name? Oh, yeah, yeah. It breaks my heart. These are harder, so they don't, um, and they're lovely, let me tell you, but they don't, they don't lift like these do. That's my first main difference. Yeah, I do too, CB. I still, I do like these. I have nothing against them. I love metallic watercolors. Um, not everybody's an idiot like me that has to have but, but that's just me. Maybe you need both because the colors are a little different. So, you know, I'm just saying. Leslie, Brianna, oh my goodness. I'll certainly say a prayer for her. God bless her. Oh, it's, it's heartbreaking, Leslie. I can't imagine. After having to deal with cancer myself and know what is entailed, every any time I see a child that's got to go through that, it just kills me. I mean, I knew what was happening and I under, could understand it, but you know, they don't know. They just want to play and run around and be a kid. And it just, ugh. I'm really sorry to hear that. I'm going to do these on black, too, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Wrap it up. I mean, you can't hate those. I really like those, too. I do, I do. Let's do them on black. I always thought these were cool how they were in the palette and they kind of have that, you know, that wrinkled texture to them. Kind of remind me of fancy makeup. <laughs> they always look better on black. I meant to add a little fade out down here in the bottom. That's really strange about that pricing like that. I love this champagne color in this palette. I think that's my favorite one in here. I 
This one should really pop on the black. These are both German companies, too. Half pans are 3.2, and the full pans are 5.4. Huh. So there they are on. How can I do that? These have these are definitely different colors, so I think you guys need both. <laughs> I hate to break it to you. <laughs> um, these are definitely brassier golds, uh, a little more orange in like this one, and this one. This one's a lot like a bright brass, almost a little smidge of green in there. Um, this one's a pretty gold gold, and the champagne and the silver. But yeah, they're they're different. So I'm thinking, I'm just saying. Um, that one's probably the closest, but this one's more yellow. That one's got a little green in it. Um, the royal gold, I think, is the closest to the one on the end over here. And the silvers, it is a lot more pigmented on the on the creamer than that is there. I can see black paper through there, and this one's like a solid mirror, more opaque, I guess. I don't know. But I really, I really do think that it would it would uh, behoove you all to spend your money and get both sets. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh yeah I said it out loud and another thing about playing with this stuff is the dirty water when it gets all that mica in there swirling around how mesmerizing is that I'm just going to sit here and wait till it stops swirling and then I'll sign off I mean, and look, I don't want to dump it. Watch, I'll dump it right in the damn pallet. Oh, no. Let's not do something stupid. I like just looking at the water swirling. That's how simple-minded I really am. For those of you who might not have been aware. Um, anywho, I'm going to leave these open to dry and these fine checks open to dry. I'm going to go spend some time with my husband. And I will catch you good people later. Thanks for... No, I'm not going to drink it. I might sugar my rim with a little bit of the gold mica. No, no, no. I have to use up the fine text that you made me buy first. Oh, Virginia. Mm, your logic is way off there, honey. You never use all of anything first before buying something else. Trust me. That's not, <laughs> that's not the way to go. <laughs> I'd be burning that fine tech palette up if that was my rule. I'd be burning this palette up. <laughs> I'd be here all night painting to use that bad boy up. <sighs> but that's me. Don't follow me. I'm telling you. Thanks, ladies. Ah, oh, thanks, CB. And Joan, everybody, Kathy, Gayla, Sandra. I'll be seeing you, a lot of you knuckleheads in the next few weeks. That'd be good. Well, if you ever have a need for like a greeny kind of gold, you will, or a champagne. 
Bye, Travis, Kimberly, Eileen, everybody. All right, let me go save my video. I'll be right back. Hang on. Bye, YouTube.